about to get into filming and I just wanted to show off a couple things that we have in the studio. I don't want to necessarily do a complete walkthrough, but um, just want to take you on a, a tour of some of the equipment that we've got. Yeah, all right. For starters, we have our uh, Amazon Choice tripod here. Um, this is a photography tripod and you know, I think that really a video tripod would be recommended because then we could do some panning, that smooth panning. Um, sometimes I, there are things that I want to do like pan down and because this does not have like a sc smooth scroll pan down action, I just twist the handle and then the thing flops forward. Um, I can't get smooth transitions. Uh, same thing doing like left right pan. So I a video tripod mount head or a video tripod would be a really good upgrade for us. This is our Tascam DR60 MK2 audio mixer and we picked this one on our budget because it does exactly what we need it to do. We want to take audio from our, uh, our player and mix it with the audio from the microphone. We were taking the audio directly from an analog mixer and sending it uh, directly to the camera. And that worked out well, but the problem was that sometimes like a garbage truck would go by or the dog would bark. I mean, things happen and we, we don't want to have that. It was, it was about 250 20 230 dollars or something like that so it was a good investment so the other thing is that we have two inputs to the mixer we have obviously her microphone that comes in uh, off the microphone receiver that is uh, this quarter inch cable here we have the mic input the quarter inch cable here the quarter inch cable right here is the microphone input and then we have the input from the playlist coming off of uh, the mp3 player so th that's this wire with the green. To split the audio from the phone to the speaker and to the audio mixer we just have one of these Y adapters so there's that lightning to eighth inch headphone and then there's the male headphone to a stereo splitter and then you know one goes to the speaker and then one goes to the mixer so we run the audio out from the mixer to the camera using the short cable that um, is hanging right now um, and then we also have a set of headphones that we plug in and again we got these from a friend we had some you'd be surprised how a quality pair of headphones can really help you on this section of the the recording especially when you're editing it's just what you hear through a good set of headphones you don't hear in inexpensive headphones or I mean I won't say inexpensive because uh, you can get good headphones for a small amount of money like for example she's got on her desk she's got some cans that we originally used cans like i know <laughs> like i'm all into headphones but they call the the style of headphone that fits over your ear cans and these things literally look like cans i'll show them these are the cans that we used to have attached to that and since we only had one pair of good headphones um you, yeah, you don't want to edit using earbuds or something like that unless they're like good quality, but um, we got these off of Amazon and they're the One Audio. Uh, and I think maybe these headphones were about like 30 bucks and they sound really good. They're very clear. Um, they come with a couple really long cables and I'd say they were, the cables are surprisingly really good quality. Like, um, I swear if you just had to buy these cables alone, you'd probably come close to paying what you pay for the headset. But uh, it has 
this one long uh, eighth inch headphone cable with the accordion. So it's like six feet long and then it's got the stretchy thing that gets you a little bit extra space. Uh, these things sound really good, but we were like having to disconnect them from the mixer and that just adds extra time. So these Shure headphones here, I, I don't think they sound as good as the ones that are on Bird's Desk that we were originally using, but they're not bad at all. They're, they're way better than the Tascam ones that came for free with this mixer um, and definitely better than earbuds. So these things sound really good. And then those in there, I'd say they sound equally as good on the, the mids they are a bit more bright on the highs and then uh, they have way more bass. So, but these have okay bass. Not that it matters, but you know, like I like to get into the music while she's doing her thing too. So uh, I, I feel like I'm almost just sitting there watching her dance, listening to good music. <laughs> so that's what's up. All right, here we go. This is, these headphones uh, are plugged into the mixer and we can, uh, there's a setting on the mixer where we can, Choo we can mix it like there so we can mix it and what we send the mix to the camera and if something were to happen like to the sound card or the file we have a backup there this is the jbl eon one uh, we purchased this about three or four years ago and i think they still make the same thing it sounds really good um, it's like a line array speaker, which is a professional quality and you'll hear you'll we've taken this thing outside in front of a church on a sidewalk or in front of an elementary school and we could blow out their sound system. I mean, this thing is good. We used to do movies on the lawn with it. Um, I, we paid about a thousand dollars for it and I think that they probably sell for much less than that and you could probably find one used from a musician or something like that. Uh, it's been really durable. The, my only thing about it would be like the amp, you know, if you leave it on all day, I, it does get pretty hot. Yeah. The other thing I'd say also is that you need to have some kind of a, like a dolly or something to pull it on. It's kind of heavy. I mean, I'm a smaller person. Um, I can handle it. You can pick it up, but it is kind of bulky. So if you, you do purchase something like this, make sure it does have wheels or something that you can uh, wheel it around. So that's my recommendation for that. Show one. that. So one of the things that I use is this microphone here. This is the mic that I use. We tape it to my back because we found that if it rustles around or bounces around while I'm moving, you kind of get that little shh, shh, shh going on. Most important thing that we found is this right here. This little guy right here. If that thing is up and it crosses this, this cord right here, it makes that sound really loud. You can't really hear it when the music is on, but when Nick has his earphones in, um, he can hear it, you know. So we don't want any of that uh, being distract distracting. Um, you know, or definitely come right over in our videos. Now, if for some reason it does, I can edit it out uh, with the software that we use. I use DaVinci uh, Resolve. I can edit the sounds and stuff that way, but we try to get it, get in front of it and try to avoid that stuff. So if you do have one of these uh, microphones, this, this one I'm using is a Shure, S-H-U-R-E, Shure. I don't know if it'll... There we go. This is just tape right here. Like I said, I tape. Oh, I moved. Um, but anyway, you can get these off of Amazon. And I just replaced this microphone part uh, for the first time. I've had my first one for four and a half years and it worked great. And I just replaced it. So you can also get a replacement of these guys uh, if you need it. From Amazon. The other thing that goes kind of quick is these guys right here. So you want to keep some extras around if you teach classes, um, especially if you teach weekly classes or a weekly basis. Um, definitely get extra one of these guys because uh, they kind of go quick. Um, but anyway, when I strap these these things on, I like to put them on my back, the upper back, 
Um, I used to wear a waistband when I taught at the studio in there, and that works fine. But in the classes that I do online, I don't want to see that. And I don't want you to have to see it. It's a little bit of distraction. Um, so if you do see something in my shirt, this is what it is. Um, this works the best for me. I have tried other microphones, um, a lapel style, and the ones that are really thin um, microphones. And for what I do, it doesn't work as well as this guy right here. This guy stays pretty tight on my head, doesn't bounce around all that much, and you can adjust it you know, away from your, your mouth if you, if you do a high intensity class, um, or you can put it closer to your, to your mouth if, if you want it that way. But I like it a little bit far away because I tend to coach when I teach, I tend to be louder, and um, I don't want to be yelling it in your ear or anything. So I like to keep it a little bit farther away, plus I don't want you to hear me breathing so hard <laughs> into the microphone. I want you to hear the music. I recommend this this microphone. I really like it and it's worked really well for us. 